Yeah. Yeah. Gangus is requesting a banana. Morning everybody. Back in the office today. Oh, someone's dropped cereal on the floor. Don't you say crunching cereal on the floor? The edit is on. Oh, me and Aldis had a nice nine holes last night, didn't we, Aldis? Yep. She needs to work on her wrist conditions to stop going right, don't you, Aldis? Yeah. So yesterday's question about Rory and what it means to you with his signing. Mixed bag, most people kind of doesn't really say anything to them. But I also don't think those people don't often really understand. Oh, I guess the influence that these players have on them. Or just watching a brand perform every week using a particular brand just kind of plays in people's heads. It does, even if they don't think it does. I'm happy for Rory. Make the dollar, bruh. Go on. Make loads of money. And I think it kind of shows as well how much he's changed around money. What equipment is kind of really down to when it comes to it in the modern game. I don't think anyone can deny that now, can they really? Well, I guess this is YouTube. People deny many facts on here. <laughs> so today's question, Players' Championship starts tonight. Who's going to win? I love this tournament. I love this course. Been lucky enough to play it thanks to your golf travel. And it is a fantastic, fun, tough golf course. It's a golf course that I would love to play in tournament golf. It suited me, you've got to hit straight. It's not massively, massively long. So who do you think's going to win? Molinari shows some good form. Ross Fisher to have um, Dennis Pugh's stable. And then obviously you've got DJ. Hard to look past DJ. Post those comments down below. Who do you think will win? Hit that thumbs up button while you're down there. We got nearly 2,000 likes yesterday. Let's get there today. 2,000 likes. Hit that button. And remember, if you're liking the daily vlogs, hit that subscribe button. YouTube likes it. Subscribe, you get them in your notifications, it's all cool. Who do you think will win the Players' Championship, Orla? Myself. Yeah. Who do you think will win the Players' Championship, darling? So today's swing's a great one. Guy brings the club back, we see the club turning down to the ground, which people often relate with hooking. Top of the backswing, we see what people would often refer to as a cross the line at the top. Again, that relates in people's minds to hooking. But this player hits cuts. He comes from out to in, what I can see, ball starts left and that is cutting back to the right. We've got to work on his relationship between left arm and right arm on the backswing to get his lay down of the club, which he does lay the club down, but we need it coming a bit more here rather than out in front of him a bit more on this uh, kind of angle on the way down. If we can change that relationship on the way back, it might help him do the same movement he's doing now on the downswing, but hopefully from a better place to change that path. Time for school drop off. Hello school drop off, partaker one, partaker two. <laughs> What's going to happen at school today, Orla? Right, first ideas are going to be around rotating trail shoulder on the backswing and getting the relationship between your two arms turning better on the backswing. So simple idea, split hand drill, top of the club, one on the metal, starting with your club shaft parallel to the ground and down your feet line. Now from here I want you to feel two things. I want you to feel the way you do it and I want you trying to feel the way I want you to attempt to do it. Always practicing what you do compared to what you want to do is a good way of feeling the change rather than just trying to forget the old way. You need to try to understand it as well, I always think. So you want to move right elbow kind of away from your body and behind you, which is why we see this cross at the top as soon as your angle of your wrists and that take charge. Where I want you to feel that you keep this elbow almost tucked in, going more this way, so rotating trail shoulder this way on the backswing more, so the best way to do that. I just feel like as you take that club, turn it up behind you, I feel like that elbow is coming under and you'll see a very different position in your backswing. It'll give you a very different stretched position in your backswing and feeling of your arms and you'll feel how the club is almost tilting to a laid off idea at the top. So to you it'll feel more like you're here opposed to this way. Now when you get this cross like you do at the top, you then push your hands out, drop the shaft, which is good but that's where the path left path is coming so dramatically from. We need the downswing from here, having the drop behind you and out. So again, you can do this with the split hand drill. Your right elbow tucked in, feeling on the way back, so I mean tucked in this way, opposed to out behind you. 
and then down so you feel like you just flatten the shaft out so literally just pull it down with your right hand and lay the left one and then spin it out at the bottom. A couple of these split hand drills then hit a shot, a couple of these split hand drills hit a shot. It will change your feelings, your ideas of where you want to get to. It really does help. Let's answer your questions. Good morning Mark, I have a question for you. I'm sorry if you've been asked this one before, but uh, I just want to show you here. I have the same espresso machine uh, that you do. I use it almost every day. My question for you is, why is your frothing pitcher so huge? Look at this. That's a reasonable size. Look at that. You would never need to froth as much milk as your pitcher can hold. Cheers, bro. As always, answering the important questions. This is my cup, so we could call this a large caramel latte. This is said pitcher, and yes, it is bigger than the same one you've got, bruh. I've got a smaller one, but I find to get the milk hot enough, this is such important stuff. This one froths and over froths to get the right amount to go in there, the right amount of milk to go in there. Where this one, it froths almost to the top when I get it hot enough. So I hear what you're saying, and I thought the same, because I bought this one thinking that's this massive, but it's the only one I could find. And then I found that one, I thought, oh, that's nice. But then I can't get the milk hot enough in that. Can in that. Oh my word. I've blooming escaped. I've come to Matalan because apparently I can pick up a parcel I missed yesterday from Matalan. This is really true. Well, they do. You can pick your boxes up from there. I wouldn't say that was the best experience of my life. Right, next drill, great indoor one. Trusty door frame. What I want you to do is place your right arm against the door frame at said angle, say 45 degree angle. Now it's important that you have your heels, so the back of my heels here are in line with the door frame. Heels in line, 45 degree angle, left hand out in front of me like I'm hitting a shot and I'm gonna turn my shoulders up to marry that right hand. So join the left with the right, even interlock my grip when I get there. And feel how more uh, rotated this right shoulder will feel, so more this way rotated. You can even do the drill where you get your heels ahead of the door frame. So with my heels ahead of the door frame, 45 degree angle with my arm in the middle of this door frame still, if I turn my left hand up to meet that, I can feel how more twisted my hands get, so that across the line thing we see you do at the top, how much more behind me my right elbow feels. So this external rotation is gonna allow you to, when you do flatten that shaft, bring it down a little bit more from your side out to the ball, rather than chucking it away from you and into the left so much. This is a great way, again, to get the feeling. The more you do this as well, when I pull off that door frame, so just relax after the drill, I can feel that my right shoulder's been kind of stretched out. It's been extended more, which is a great way for you to get the same feeling of how much more you want your back arm, your right arm going this way, rather than just chucking that elbow way behind you. There we go, thanks for watching. Chicken and bacon pasta tonight, methinks. So if you want your question on the daily vlogs, post them on Twitter, Facebook, message me on Facebook, Instagram, post them, and there's a good chance you'll get included. Love trying to answer your questions. Who's gonna win the players? Post those comments down below, hit the thumbs up button. As always, let's get the 2,000 again. We did actually hit 2,000 at the end of the day. And also hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Go on, if you don't already, give it a tap. It all helps. Who do you think will win the players' championship, Orla? Myself. Yeah, probably.